How's it going everyone? Dark Wolf Games here and we're back with another first look at a demo that I also found on Steam this week. I've been kind of going through the demos this week for Steam Fest and I found a new game being released by Space Rocket Games and Toplitz Productions. It's called Permafrost. So basically from what I've gathered from the Steam page and a few other things I've looked into, uh, essentially it's like a survival building crafting type game and except it, it takes place in like a frozen a kind of apocalyptic world, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. See some doors retire a tool or key to unlock, but I figured we'd give it a good fair shake. Check it out. So it's like male, female bodies, skin type, hair doesn't matter. Primary color. Let's go with the um, oh, let's do black primary pattern we'll do like something like that i guess it really doesn't matter come on fluffy don't really matter there either oh we got a dark wolf Willing to play this character, sure. Now keep in mind this is a demo, so I assume it's not the final release. A lot of these games have been kind of the prologue, pre-release looks. So we're gonna give it a fair shake though and see how we like it. I kind of like the setting. Name, or is that someone watching me? Perfect. How many of y'all are watching uh, like these style games, these survival crafting? So it looks like you knew hot team from the reading there. After an animal is killed, it can be skinned. Press any keys to begin. That's what we're going to do. All right, so it looks like we're in third person. We have a radio menu with Q, our inventory. Okay. There's our statistics. Negative 28 Celsius. There's a basic crafting menu here with the requirements. Crude bow, looks like we can filter. Okay, so that works. Leave it on all for now. Talk to the one. And uh, have a shinkle. I'm Anna. Hold you closer to the sure some voice acting. Anyway, get yourself to Hunter's Glade. My friend Robin's up in the red tower. She'll help you. Hunter's Glade. And take this. It's not much, but it'll keep you alive. Okay. Ask her if she needs any help. I'm not the one to ask, but yeah, night's coming and it's gonna get much colder. Some wood. We can do that. Yes. Let's just say I ran into trouble. Okay, so it has some dialogue to it. That's cool. Die. Check the frozen pond behind me. The victims of the moon cult. She's an old. We've been through a lot. Okay. Now I'm kind of skipping through it, but it says in the prologue stuff the saves won't carry over, so I'm gonna just kind of. Right, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna exit the dialogue. Time's a tape a ticking. I'm gonna go into our crafting. I think we're gonna probably need to. What did she give us exactly? Okay, so we have a stone axe. Oh, my knife. Oh, shiv. So we go uh, find a tree. Oh, Ooh, that camera sensitivity is really high. Give me a second, y'all. Let's go into Imperial units just for temperature reasons. And video. So settings are all on high. That's good to know. Uh, audio. 
Music's turned off, obviously. There's no sensitivity controls that I see, which could be good or bad. I know I can manually adjust them on my mouse, which is what we'll do. That's better. So we're gonna bring down a tree, level up our axes. So we, do we have like skills? Oh, that's way too low. There we go. That's better. So it looks like we have skills and we can level them up. That's a cool system. I, I prefer the more organic skills that grow as you do more of that skill. Skill trees are nice and all, but sometimes they can be frustrating. Okay, so I don't, it doesn't look like I have to break down the, the logs into sticks or whatever, which is good. I like the kind of deformation in the ground. That's kind of cool. Light up the campfire. We can do that. So to do that, we're going to need to put some firewood, I'm assuming. It's as simple as that. Thanks. By the way, I... Craft a bow and arrows. We can do that. We need a uh, rope. How do we make rope? Rope. We need, looks like cloth. So I'm assuming we need to find clothes and whatnot. In order to do so, can I search the medical supply box? I'm going to take everything. It's not enough though. She said near the pond there were still cultists. Oh, so they seem better days. They got a potato though. So is this someone alive or dead over there? Not the ones on the spikes, obviously. The person sitting there, are they frozen in that position? Looks like they, yep, they are. Good bit of cloth though. Get the box in the middle. Ooh, some insulated mountain pants. That could be useful. So I'm hearing something. Oh, there's a deer over there. See it? You see the, the herns. You see the herns. All right, let's make a little bit of rope. Make a couple ropes. And we're going to make a bow. Which we definitely can use, which would be very useful. And we're going to need some arrows. Arrows. Make two sets of arrows. We're going to switch this around. I'm going to put this on. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Uh, pick up. There we go. So we're going to pull our, our bow out. I'm going to go see if we can get that deer. I saw it over there. See it? Yeah, can we headshot that bad boy? Alright. Made the run. Can I get my arrow back? Where's it going? We get XP from just jumping. <laughs> Anyone remember that from Elder Scrolls? Just jumping around doing parkour style of running just to get, boost up your athletics. I hear it. It's over here somewhere. I'm gonna get it. I don't know if it can gore me, so I gotta be careful. Where'd it go? Oh, we gotta be careful about that. That's a cougar did. Wait. It didn't go into the rocks, did it? Did it actually, like, go into the rocks? I hope not. Yep, it's in the, it's in the snowbank. See it? You can see the antlers. Well, I don't know how to get it out now. Maybe it'll get itself out at some point, but... We're going to head back to this little camp here. Ooh, there's a box. Check that, though. Some boots. We'll check when we get back over by her where the fire is. We'll check the gear that we've recovered so far. I don't know how to get the deer, though, if it's in the rock. 
That's kind of funny. There's another deer over there, though, so we'll be all right. All right, um, let's hop down by the fire, though. Ooh. Is it producing heat, or did it already burn up? It already burnt up. All right, so we got casual gloves. So cold resistance 23 on those boots. Much better. Much better resistance on the boots. Don't want to get the... There's some alcohol, some ammo, 38 on the pants versus 28. Yep, we're going to switch them around for sure. Uh, anything else we recovered? We got some money. So let's go ahead and see if we can... Uh... Got it! Got that there. Let's go skin it. Pull our knife out and go skin it. Get some meat. Red deer. Got some good stuff there. So I think we go ahead and... Oh, she wants some meat. So we can bring it back to her. I mean, you're in a bad spot. There's a cougar den, like, right around the corner, Anna. Nice fork. Let's get it cooked. You eat first. Uh, remember, you can... But maybe... What do you mean by more? I still have some meat left. Uh, can you cook it with this potato? I mean, yeah. I'll make some burgers. So, do that. And then... We need the meat. And then we're going to cook it with potatoes. And then another potato. Nope. There we go. I think we made something. Just cook the meat. And another potato. And finish that with the meat. I wonder we make animal fat. We got some tallow though. What are we getting out of that? Where's it storing it? I see it's got a little bar here. Got hide too, which is great. All right, cook the dish. I think I'm a. Ooh, a crate here with some rope and stuff. I say we're gonna move on though. Well, yeah, but we're going to camp out for the night, y'all, because it's going to get cold. Er. We're going to rest for the night. So hopefully you are liking this. So far, I find it an interesting premise. I mean, it definitely fits all the other survival, like, crafting games. Uh, what time is it? 1600. We're going back to sleep. I need to skip some time. I want daylight. Is it still 1600? I mean, I was hoping that would pass some time, but if not, it is what it is. I mean, can I craft a stone pickaxe already? I might have picked up blue stuff for it. We just need wood. So we can get that real quick. That tree's not happy. There we go. Just need some wood and we can make a pickaxe. Get some stone. A lot of deer here. I got all of them. Alright, let's make a... Pickaxe. Probably should have made a stone one, but crap, I should have made a stone one. I don't know why I made a flint one. It was kind of a waste. We might be able to sell it or something, though. Not saying we won't use it either. Right. All 
it entered a cougar cave. How do we like easily skip time? Like, can we? I mean, I say we come back. Oh wait, I'm hungry. There we go. We'll go on. And we move on to the tower. Just jump ahead. See a watchtower area. We're gonna go check that out. Keep our bow ready. We got four arrows. Ready if we need it. Look at the look at the sky. What the heck happened up there? So are we on an alien planet or did something else happen? An asteroid or something? And that's peculiar. Definitely interesting. There's a big ice wall too. I mean, that's I think it looks cool. I just want to know what happened. So I think this is the red tower. Go back and check out the cougar cave later. Can we go into this house though? Dog days. Give the dog raw meat. Oh, let me get you some raw meat. Do I have any raw meat? It's our doggy. It's fluffy. A little bit of catching when I spin quick, I'm noticing. This must not be the red tower then. Can I like sort? Is there a sort button? That would be really nice. I hear someone. Is that Robin? Who are you? What are you? You've met Anna. I'm Robin, by the way. I'm here on. Speaking of the dead. Oh, radio. This is Ethan Kane. Hope you can hear me, Robin. My team went missing. Prepare temporary base. Can't handle this on my own. I'm going to need your help with that base. Oh, and the sheriff gave me the last cord. All right, so we got to build something now. There should be an convoy nearby. Okay. It's Emma's dog. You might be able. What's up? He's. We don't. I wish we. Could. I'm. All right, lady. What's up? Nothing. We do. Good. And the time still says 1600. It's actually above freezing in here, so All right. Gather around, folks. we can We're like camp here for the night. Hey, pipe down when the sheriff Ooh, toilet paper. We're heading out to search for survivors. Ooh. Robin, you'll stay at Hunter's Glade in case someone shows up. Is everyone clear on their assignments? Yes, yes. we are. Good. Any questions? What about moving clothes? We're running low. But grab what you need from the shack downstairs. There's a crate up there too. Come back for it. Wait, who's going to look after my dog? I can't take him to the bunker. I'll take care of him. A puppy dog. I trust everyone knows their job. Now. So I guess we need to go in the build menu, huh? Do do do. Bob the Builder working in the freezing cold. It's only negative 33. It's very, very cold. We need to go hunting for another deer. If we need some more wood, can I camp out where it's nice and warm? I'm singing this herbal. Hey, puppy. Can I sleep? So how do I skip time? It says 1600, but the clock's not moving. So is that just because the clock's not moving or am I misunderstanding time passage or whatever? I guess some wood. We don't tree, we don't tree, we don't tree, we don't tree. We need to eat again. Yeah, we actually gotta eat pretty quick. Are pretty often. Awesome. 
Timberborn. Timberborn. That's a fun game, yo. We should play Timberborn one day. Maybe on a stream. But like I said, I'm enjoying this so far. Uh, what, what do y'all think? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Like, is this a game that interests you? This game is also multiplayer, so maybe we look at it uh, with multiplayer in the near future. Find some people to play with and go from there. All right, so how do I open the menu? Right click, structure. We need one doorway. Let's go and do the doorway. Oh, well, we got a really good hammer, but we're using like primitive tools for everything else. It's amazing. All right, we're gonna go and throw the walls down. Yeah, as you know, basic crafting like a lot of these games are, which is fine. Do we need a door? Or not a door, a window? No. Yeah, I wouldn't put a window. Not for this type of structure. Figure you probably won't be pretty warm. Leveled up our building. We're gonna need another tree after this. Build a high structure in the mark spot. Okay, we can do that in the future. Okay, so you can use, I just realized you can use the mouse wheel. As well to change items, which is really cool. But uh, y'all let me know down in the comments too, if any of y'all play any games kind of like this that y'all like. I mean, I know there's games like, what, The Forest or Sons of the Forest or whatever the second one is. And yeah, you know, the older games like Minecraft and stuff like that. I mean, what kind of games do y'all like to play in terms of survival crafting? Uh, let's get that bush out the way. There we go. Back up. Over the fence. So I think that was the last wall, right? So now we need to go in and get a door. Open shed door. Yeah, we're gonna need like a staircase to make it easier to get in there. Need a roof. Or slash roof. Can I camp here for the night? I mean, it's pretty much primitive shit at this point. We can build a workbench now. Which I think if we're able to, we'll put it outside. Need more wood though, already. Now we are going through the wood. I need another ax too. Need stone. We may have to go find a stone somewhere nearby. So how quick does the day move? Because it is steadily getting darker. And yeah, see, we're going to have to find uh, some stone. Come on, can I get over the wall, please? What is that one? That's the flint axe. So we have a flint axe, not just. I guess I made a flint axe by mistake. Which actually helps us out in this situation. Oh, you saw that bush? What was that? I swore I saw a blue glowing bush. I mean, I like kind of the functionality of like being able to take over a structure. Like I would spend time fixing that house over building a new structure. That's what a lot of these games don't always do, which I feel like they should. Do I have to build it inside? Yep. Up here. So, uh, the camera angles are not friendly. All right, now I need to build a bed, basic bed. Where's the bed? Let's 
So it's not as cold in here. And I have to place it outside. Yep. I'm going to exit the build menu. It's two degrees in here. I want to rest. Make sure our energy stays up. Let's try to get that time to bypass a bit, but that does not seem to be the case. So we got some snow. I mean, this structure up here is warmer than that. And you would think it would be colder because it's up in the air. I mean, yeah, the wood's not very well insulated there, but it in here, it's a good 13 degrees. Does she have like a heater or something? I'm not aware. Like, where's Robin even at? What's up? Thank you so much. If you're wondering what to do next, but your gear isn't strong enough for the cold out there, just. Yep. You go find a deer. I'm gonna check this crate. I was able to take everything but the tent. Some more ammo. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat. Go ahead and eat another dish. Make sure our health's nice and full. Our rifle is five. Ammo's fine where it is. All right, let's go see if we can uh, find that deer. Get some raw meat and get the dog. We know there were some back towards just the other camp. So let's just go back that way. Looking for any type of deer. See, we're off to the left here, back this way. Cross down. See if we can sneak up on him a bit better. Oh my gosh. You're a horrible shot. And we're in a snowstorm now. There we go. Got one. All right, we're going onward to get the doggy. We need to get that dog. So we're doing all right for hunger for now. Say we hit another deer if we can while they're here. You don't know if they might get more uncommon. Boom, look at that. We're getting the hang of it now. It's funny, it's kinda of, it's not even really that far, but it's it's like shooting an arrow. The yeah, inventory's full. I was kind of worried about that. Uh, let's eat something. I'm going to also sacrifice a bit of wood. If need be. Fine, we're dropping some wood if we can get some meat. Let's drop uh, these bones here and take these meat. The meat's much more valuable. Meats for eating. Sure, we're gonna carry on our way. We're a bit heavy, 
but I think we can trade when we get to those camps. At least that's the hope. Another thing too is that sewn axe. I'm gonna drop it because if we can't, we're good on meat right now, so I don't need to kill any more deer. I don't need to hunt any more deer. All right, let's get the puppy. Let's go talk to the puppy. Hi, puppy. What your pet the puppy? Pet the puppy. You wanna come with me, puppy? Oh, he's got an inventory. A puppy's got an inventory. All right, puppy. You're my new pack mule. Beautiful. All right. Carry that hide. That money. And carry the pants. Some more hide. I'm gonna load dog up because that makes it easier for us. All right. Let's get dog. We're gonna bring our gun back out. We're gonna need more ammo, that's for sure. Got some different kinds of ammo, but looks like we're going down this way for the camp. Up south to the house camp. That's where we need to go. That's the traders. See if we can get some stuff, some better gear. We got our dog with us now. So that's cool. Even on single player, you know, that just having a dog adds an aspect, having someone to help pack meal and stuff like that for some of the loot. But I haven't really seen like too much of a struggle yet, but I'm sure it'll come on as the game goes on further. It'll get colder or more difficult terrain perhaps there's the church so we got to get down so i think we're gonna squeeze our way down oh shoot ow ow so is that ice or rocks okay so flint pickaxe we're gonna put in it too get some flint over here Was it echoing? There's rock shards. There's some stone. Which we definitely can use. So there's a place to get it. Not that far from where we're going to be. Ooh, some coal. That's actually really good. That'd be great for fire building. I'm sure. Gotta farm all that as much as we can get out of it. All right, dog, can you carry the coal for me? All right, let's get on the way. Let's get on to the church. Some stuff. What is that? A box? Yeah, that's a box. I searched any of said boxes. Looks like it's just atmospheric. There's a dead courier. Looks like they had a snowmobile there. Oh, what was that? Some interact with what's that? Improvised coffee, spices, cloth, money. We'll take it. Oh, medical supplies, we'll take that. Wood crate, we'll take that. So there's some crates over here. Sorry about that, that's outside. Nothing I can do about that noise. Got some ammo there, which is beautiful. Uh, military backpack. I think that's going to be better than what we have. Where's that backpack at? Was I able to pull it out? No. So, can I set this down? Yes, I can. Now, can I pick this up? Boom. 25 slots there. There we go. I was able to pick up the casual backpack and put it in there. Perfect. Uh, we are really cold all of a sudden. We need to go. We will have to come back. And a renegade's coat. Will that do any good? 
That's basically the same. So that's, oh, we died. Ah, fire trucks and stuff going somewhere. There must be a fire or something. But we'll take that as a good stopping point. I know the video is a little bit short and only about 30 minutes long or so. But hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If y'all want to see me play more of this with a fresh go, or we'll just respawn, either or. Uh, be sure to click that like button comment down below that you want to see more and if you're new to the channel and like what you see Be sure to click that subscribe button and follow the channel with that bell icon But uh, so next time y'all y'all have a good one and bye